Oh, there's no doubt that the, the claim that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu and others are making that somehow UNRWA is a proxy for Hamas are just flat out lies. That's a flat out lie. Uh, if you look at the person who's in charge of operations on the ground in Gaza for UNRWA, it's about a 20 year U.S. Army veteran. Mm -hmm. You can be sure he is not in cahoots uh, with Hamas. Uh, Netanyahu has wanted to get rid of UNRWA since at least 2017. That's been his goal, not just in Gaza, but also in the other places uh, you talked about. And if you get rid of UNRWA in Gaza today, it is the primary distribution system for food and aid. So if you cut off funding for UNRWA in Gaza entirely, it means more people will starve, more people won't get the medical assistance they need, uh, and so it would be a huge mistake uh, to cut them off. There have been allegations made by the Netanyahu government that up to 14 of those 13,000 uh, people were involved in the horrific October 7th attacks. We should investigate it. We should hold all those people accountable. But for goodness sakes, um, let's not hold two million innocent Palestinian civilians who are dying of starvation. Let's not hold them um, essentially accountable for the bad acts of 14 uh, people. Netanyahu's wanted to get rid of UNRWA uh, because he has seen them as a, a, a means to continue the hopes of the Palestinian people for a homeland of their own. Mm -hmm. And he has been opposed to a two-state uh, solution. Um, and uh, this has been his primary objective, stopping a two-state solution. I hope they will because President Biden himself has repeatedly said that the Netanyahu government is unnecessarily restricting desperately needed humanitarian assistance. I mean, the president has said it a number of times. He said no excuses. So uh, it may be that the minister of defense in Israel signed this, but I cannot imagine a scenario right now where Secretary Blinken can find that that promise is credible and reliable when the day it was signed, clearly the Netanyahu government is not in compliance because we see that, that they're continuing to restrict humanitarian assistance.